Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. The Air Force has begun to expedite enhanced safety features for the F-22 fighter jet. The service will be adding automatic backup oxygen systems to its fleet of Raptors. Recent reports of pilots experiencing hypoxia after flying in the aircraft spurred the Air Force's decision to speed up production of additional safety measures. The Acting Assistant Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs, George Little, says the root cause of hypoxia-like events has not been determined and that the Air Force is aggressively looking at other factors that could be contributing. Only 12 cases of hypoxia have been reported since 2008. You may not think a trip to the post office could land you in hot water, but new international customs policies for the U.S. Postal Service may mean just that for airmen stationed overseas. Airman First Class Therese Garnier reports. This may look like an ordinary day at the post office, but for customers, it could be a day that they break the law. I want to get the word out to customers that if you intentionally or fraudulently fill out a customs form saying that you have an item in or you don't have an item in the box when you actually have it in there and something does go wrong, uh, you can be held liable or responsible for what happens. The post office is implementing new rules where you can't ship things with lithium batteries. Now things that have lithium batteries are laptops, cell phones, and even cameras. So don't ship them. In the event after your item is mailed after May 16th mm -hmm. and uh, it's not caught by the airlines, of course we will deliver it to you. But on the outbound side of the house, we're not going to be allowing anybody to send those items out. If, for instance, you mail your item and you don't disclose that you have one of those items in the box and it gets down to Narita, the airlines catch it, then they'll just return it to sender. Coming from CONUS to here, that's where you're taking a chance on maybe you're not receiving your item at all. So it's really recommended that you just don't do it. If you need to ship an item with lithium batteries, you have a few options. Remove the battery or ship it with a commercial shipping company. I'm Airman First Class Therese Garnier, Yokota Air Base, Japan. At the end of a long workday, security forces airmen at Aviano Air Base, Italy, rely on a single guard mount officer to keep their weapons safe. Staff Sergeant Will Bracey takes us behind the scenes to see how one airman gets the job done. It's 4 a.m. and most people are asleep, but not senior airman Jim Holcrow. He's an armorer at Aviano Air Base and just opened his office to help the 31st Security Forces Squadron change shifts to get a fresh start to the morning. Behind these bars, airmen take the weapons from defenders going home, then double check to make sure they are safe and place them on the weapons rack for every weapon. Good gun. On any given day, Airman Holcrow, along with other armory airmen, account for more than 500 M4s and many other weapons inside and outside the armory. But his job extends further than firearms. I do accountability of uh, all the ammo, too, on a daily basis. So. That's a lot. 5.56, five, 7.62, nine, 9mm, and uh, 40 mic mic, high explosive rounds. Being responsible for so much potential firepower, Airman Holcrow has to make sure everything is safe, available, and clean. His job can get very busy very fast, but it helps that he has a passion for it. I mean, I, I love cleaning guns, so I figured I'd, I'd try and get to a position where I can clean guns. I like that. Airman Holcrow ensures every weapon and every bullet can be used at a moment's notice so base defenders can start the day well equipped before most airmen even wake up. All in the morning's work for Senior Airman Holcrow and the Armory Airmen. Air Force Staff Sergeant Will Bracey, Aviano Air Base, Italy. That wraps up today's edition of Around the Air Force. From Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Staff Sergeant Sean Hostetler. Thanks for watching.